Star Wars Battlefront was one of the highly anticipated games of this generation and now we have what looks to be a far superior sequel in Star Wars Battlefront 2. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 10 things you need to know about the game before you buy it. Let's get right into this. Number 1. Story and Plot As most of you probably know, one of the big omissions from the first Star Wars Battlefront game was a traditional single player campaign, well that's changing with the sequel. Star Wars Battlefront 2 will have a story driven single player mode, and the storyline of the game predominantly follows Eden vs the commander of the Imperial Special Forces Unit Inferno Squad. The story will span 30 years beginning in the waning months of the Galactic Civil War and concluding around the destruction of Starkiller Base. There will also be segments in the campaign where other characters are playable as well including Luke Skywalker and Kylo Ren. This year, Operation Cinder is to begin at once. Resistance, rebellion, defiance. These are concepts that cannot be allowed to persist. You are but one of many tools by which these ideas shall be burned away. Heed my messenger. He shall relay you to your target. Operation Cinder is the last command of our Emperor. Number 2, a tie-in novel. If you want to get the most out of the story of Star Wars Battlefront 2, consider checking out the tie-in novel to the game, Star Wars Battlefront 2 Inferno Squad, which was released on July 25th of this year. Written by Christy Golden, it serves as a direct prelude to the game, and it follows the exploits of the Galactic Empire Squad as it seeks to eliminate what was left of Saw Gera's rebel cell after the events of the 2016 film Rogue One. Number 3, while the story mode stretches from the end of the original trilogy into the current sequel films, the multiplayer in Star Wars Battlefront 2 will cover an even larger span. This includes events from the prequels all the way up through the latest films. There will also be cross-era characters during certain game modes, for example during the open beta players could play as Rey, Han Solo, Darth Maul, and Boba Fett in the same match with clone troopers and battle droids as the main default units. This adds a lot of depth to the game's multiplayer which wasn't present in the first title. Oh, here we go. Darth Maul. Yes. Here we go, folks. Darth Maul. This is where Maul. it starts to get interesting. This is gets scary. Darth Maul will excel in phase two and phase three as you're inside. I mean, he's a great mobile attacker. He's going to sit there with his such lightsaber. Close quarters too. So oh, exactly. He's absolutely perfect for that. Absolutely. I mean, some of his abilities you can see here. He's got that spin attack. He's able to whoo, just rush in and out of combat and just take guys out in the, in the process. It was funny. I was talking to Musa earlier, and he was using Darth Maul, and he was saying how there's Boba Fett as well. Uh, he was talking about Number 4. In the 2015 Star Wars Battlefront game, players took on the role of a favorite hero or villain by picking up a specific token randomly on the battlefield. The sequel does away with that formula by introducing battle points, a new system that takes into account both individual performance and teamwork. The points occur over the course of each match and can be spent to deploy various units like starfighters, super battle droids, Jedi, and so on. Number 5. Battlefront 2 makes it easy for the player to find a playstyle that suits them and build on it through a reward-based progression system. Taking its cues from some of DICE's non-Star Wars games like Battlefield, the new sequel divides its infantry up into four distinct classes, Assault, Heavy, Officer, and Specialist, each with a unique set of abilities and equipment to take into battle. Unlike Heroes and Reinforcements, these soldiers are always available to you right from the start and can be customized using Star Cards. The various Starfighter types of Fighter, Bomber, and Interceptor also work the same way. Number 6, Space Battles are now a gigantic part of Star Wars Battlefront 2, previously only available from DLC in the first title. This time around it's called Starfighter Assault, which is a 24 player game mode that centers around dogfighting in space. Each map has unique objectives tailored to its design and respective era. The playable factions have 3 Starfighter classes available to them, Fighter, Bomber, and Interceptor. This mode can be played in all 3 eras, the prequel, original, and sequel trilogies. There will also be hero vessels such as Han Solo's Millennium Falcon and will have unlockable abilities and mods. 
amongst the amongst the clamps, you know, avoiding not only starfighters but the actual clamps themselves. And uh, some great pilot in here by Rob, just managed to weave his way. So now the power couplings have been disabled. You've got a 30 second window to deal as much damage to the Star Destroyer reactor ship. You're going to want to use this to take down any other starfighter that's in your way. So they're a lot more agile. They're a lot quicker, and because of this, they're going to have a little less health. And so to try and keep the other players in mind, the other players in your flight in mind, we always have these little yellow icons which are kind of clamped around the edge of the screen. So anytime you can go in the direction of where you're... Number seven, playable hero and villain characters from the films will be expanded upon with players able to customize skills to their liking. Creative director Bern Deemer stated that he wanted the heroes to have more depth rather than feeling like a momentary power-up. That's a good thing because in the first thing, while the heroes were very cool, it did feel just more like an overpowered time mechanic rather than the heroes themselves and just take guys out the, in the process. It was funny, I was talking to Musa earlier and he was using Darth Maul and he was saying how, there's Boba Fett as well, uh, but he was talking about how he wishes Darth Maul could reflect. I was like, if he could reflect, he'd be too strong. Too powerful. <laughs> he'd be powerful. way too strong. Uh, oh, there that's a good flank. That was a good flank by Boba Fett and Maul. Just shredded the clone army, unfortunately. They so are. what role does Boba Fett fill in this battle? Boba Fett is definitely a hunter killer. So if, if the other if the clone army is able to get some of their heroes in play, like this is where Boba Fett will really shine. Is with that Number eight. Instead of the paid season pass downloadable content seen in the 2015 title, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is expanded with free DLC provided to all players with a free EA account. Lead actress Janina Gavonkar stated that the DLC would be free to all players using a seasonal structure similar to Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege. Number nine. This may be unfortunate news to some of you, but Star Wars Battlefront 2 will feature loot crates which will include a mix of star cards, outfits, emotes, or victory poses. Players can earn these cards by completing challenges and other gameplay milestones or by purchasing them with in-game credits or crystals. The premium currency. If you get a duplicate star card in a crate, you will get crafting parts which you can then use to help upgrade the star card of your choice. And lastly, you have to earn the right to be able to upgrade star cards and unlock most weapons. You can only upgrade or unlock them if you have reached a high enough rank, which is determined by playing the game. Dyson and EA have specifically addressed concerns about crates and progression, saying that, quote, the complete system was not in the beta and will continue to be tuned over time. Hopefully it doesn't become too intrusive, but this is becoming more and more regular with a lot of games these days. Unfortunate, but nothing we can do at this point. And finally, number 10, let's talk about the release for the game and the various editions. If you buy the standard edition, you can pick up the game on November 17th and go from there. There is the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition, and it receives a large range of bonuses. It gives you access to play the game on November 14th, a three-day head start from everyone with the regular edition. It also gives you upgraded versions of all four trooper classes of Officer, Assault, Heavy, and Specialist. Four epic ability upgrades, one for each trooper class, exclusive Star Wars The Last Jedi outfits for Kylo Ren and Rey, instant access to six hero and starfighter epic star cards, Kylo Ren power reach and solid freeze, Rey with farsight and deep mind, starfighters enhanced auxiliary power and first order ship up Upgrade, and instant access to Star Wars The Last Jedi Millennium Falcon with updated sound and appearance. That version does retail for $80. Whether it's worth it or not, we'll leave that for the consumer to decide. So that wraps up 10 things that you need to know about Star Wars Battlefront 2 before you buy. What do you think? Are you excited for the game or did the last game turn you off and you want to wait until the reviews and everything else? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.